Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 79 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a thermo problem submitted by Wu Chen Lin. Um, and the way that thermos work, of course, is that digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So as you go up from the bulb, the digits must go up. They cannot stay the same and they cannot go down. Now, the goal on this one is to place the digits in all of the highlighted boxes. Um, I originally set this one with X's and it was way too busy. So I've gone to the boxes. I know they don't overlap and there's a little bit of issues here, but this was the one with the best visibility. Um, this is just not the way the tool is designed to work. So yeah, we're trying to make it work, but I think it's clear enough. Um, so there is a link below to where you can get a copy of this problem for yourself to give it a try. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that you can pause the video and give it a shot and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Now, I know I say this a lot, but I really like this one because this uses a concept that I quite like, which is roping in puzzles. So the important question that you want to ask is um, about these three cells here. So if I highlight those three cells, the question I want to ask is where do they go in box five? So they can't go in the same row and they can't go on the same thermo because all of these digits have to be higher than these. So they can't contain the same digit. So I cannot put any of the three green digits in here. So these become the three green digits. Now, the next question, of course, is where would they go in box six? But I don't need to take it that far. With roping, I can actually resolve which three, di once you get two sets of digits that are like this, you can actually do roping on all of these boxes and determine that these digits are these digits are these digits, and therefore these digits will have a, an equal run of three. But this is as far as you need to take it with this problem. So because the question you now need to ask yourself is what are these three digits? Because by this thermo, green has three digits that are higher than them. And by this thermo, green has three digits that are lower than them. So if there are three digits higher and three digits lower, green must be four, five, six. And we know the order because these are thermos. This is four, this is five, this is six. Therefore, this is seven, this is eight, and this is nine. We know that green is four, five, and six, and we know the order, and we know that these are one, two, and three. These must be seven, eight, and nine, because that's what's left, and we know the order, because they're on a thermo. These are one, two, and three, but we don't know the order. These are one, two, and three, and all we know is this is not three, and this is not one. Now, this has to be higher than two, and we can actually do some pencil marking in here. So this has a maximum of six. This has a maximum of four because there's already a five in the column. This has a maximum of three. So this can't be three or this would have nothing. So this is two, this is one, this is three. This has a maximum of three. So this is three, this is four, and that's the solution to the problem. Um, you can't actually determine with the information given whether this is five or six. So the whole structure of this is boils down to realizing that these three digits have to be the same as those three digits and therefore everything becomes nicely forced. I really like the way that the roping is used in this way to give you very, very clear, concise, um, just, it just gives you these digits very, very easily once you understand the roping trick. Um, and quite often roping tricks then involve another complex step after. So I really like this one. Thank you, Wu Chen Lin, for sending it through. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series and all of the content. And as always, good luck with your solving. 